Hi, your people. I've used people instead of folks today, folks. Hi, folks. Hi, people. Hi, folks. Today, it's really, really cold outside, and we're going to do something which is a little bit warm in Sharon, isn't it? Yeah. It's going to be nice and tasty as well. It's one of those comfort foods that I love. And and you're, you're, not, you're not too keen no, on it? No, Jimmy loves it. This is one of Jimmy's favourites. Yeah. And what is it? Macaroni cheese. Macaroni cheese. We're made with pasta pen. Pasta. And also some cooking bacon. Anyway, let's have a look at the ingredients. Here is the ingredients to our pasta bake. 150 grams or five and a half ounces of cheese. We used extra mature cheddar, one pint of milk, two tablespoons of plain flour, one teaspoon of mustard powder, one leek, one onion, 300 grams or 10.5 ounces of pasta pen, 250 grams or 8.8 .8 ounces of bacon. Right, so yeah, we've picked up, you can do this with bacon, can't you? Yeah. But we picked up in Lidl this cooking bacon here, which is a one kilogram pack. Uh, it's basically like a gammon joint, really, but it's just odd off cuts, I think you call it. And that only costs one pound forty, so it's nice and cheap. The rest of the ingredients are cheap as well. The pasta here is pasta penne or pen. It's the little tube. Whatever pasta you want. Yeah, you can use any pasta. You can normally use macaroni. We chose this pasta penne or pen or whatever it's called because it's got bigger holes in the middle. Hopefully, the sauce will go inside and make it a little bit more luxurious, baby. Right. So, what do we do first then? We're going to boil some water up and then add the pasta. Get the pasta on. And while that's doing. I'm going to chop some bacon up ready. Yeah, and we're, then we're going to cook that off in the frying pan with the onions. And leek. Let's get going. Yeah. Right, so Sharon's just going to get the pasta out now. I'm just going to put the water on our little stove, folks, just to get that ticking away, get the water heated up. So how are we going to measure these out? What I do, so you know you've got enough, just pour them in the dishes that you're making. Remember, it does expand. Yeah, so you've basically and near I'm, enough half filled them, haven't you? Yeah, but what I'm doing as well, it will expand, and I'm also putting bacon in there as well, and onions and leeks. So. And the white sauce that's yeah, going right. in there as well. It's more of a dinner rather than just plain macaroni cheese, it's more filling. And these are the one litre IKEA dishes that we've got. Yeah. There's a link for these down below in the description of this video, folks, isn't there? Yeah. Right, so that's what we're going to be doing. You're going to be putting that in the boiling water then. Let's get that on, baby. Well, it's not boiling, is it? Put it in the cold water then. No, we've got to put it in boiling water. But what I do, I always add a little bit of oil. Right. Then that'll hopefully stop the pasta from sticking. Yeah. So can I have a lid to get that to You can have a lid, baby. I'll get you a lid. Right, so this is that bacon we bought, folks. It's say like £1.40 for this lot. And as you can see, you get quite a lot of it, and it's all big, thick chunks. Blimey. Looks like a big rusher there, isn't it? A big joint. Nice. So that'll probably do us, to be honest with you, wouldn't it? As you can see, there's loads of meat on it, folks. And as I say, we're not going to cut the fat off, because the fat actually puts flavour into it as well, Shad, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. So we'll put that and dice it up quite small, because we want sort of little nuggets of it all the way through. So we'll just use this fillet here, cut this up, and then we'll uh, get this in the frying pan, ready to cook. Right, water's nice and boiling now, folks. So in with our pasta. You will put the lid back on there as well, won't you? Because yeah. it does cook quicker, doesn't it? Yeah, so that'll take about 13 minutes. Okay, so that's that sorted out. You've chopped all your bacon up now. I'm just gonna chop me leek and onion. Now, some of these can be quite dirty inside yeah. leeks. Although I've never seen it, Sharon. I have, I've had them have dirty. Have you? Yeah. So you just top a towel in it. Yeah, then I usually go down the center. Go straight down the middle, folks. Straight down the middle, 60-40. And literally, just slice it nice and small. Yeah, it's another pretty clean one. Yeah. I think you can buy washed or unwashed yeah. in the supermarkets. We got these from, where did we get these from? Lidl today. Lidl today, folks. So there's that. Look at how quickly these come to the boil, folks. Look, so we'll just turn that down. Just turn it down. Just want it to simmer. And that's not taking long at all for that to boil up, is it? Get that bacon cooking. There we go, so just turn that down. Bring in our other little hob in now, folks, and then we're gonna um, just put a little drop of olive oil in there. Don't need much, because you've got the fat on the bacon. Yeah, so we just literally, that's more, more to caramelize the, um, the onions as well, that is, folks, and the leeks. So we'll put the bacon in first. And again, what we'll do, we'll bring this up to a a nice heat and then we'll uh, drop the onions in after once that's starting to cook a little bit. 
So you, where's your onion, baby? Yeah, I'm chopped. I'm just going oh, to chop. Oh, just going to chop our onion up, folks, and then we'll be back with you. Right, so I'm just keeping an eye what? on... Oh, what? Tip, people. Oh. If it keeps bubbling and you're using so then your gas can go out, take the lid off, that on top, and it won't bubble over. That's if you're leaving the lid yeah. off. How that works, I don't know. But it's magic. It's voodoo. It is. Voodoo. You give Just, that a stir. I'll have a little stir of that. The pasta's going to take a little bit of time, folks. It's a little bit hard still. I know some people like their pasta al dente, but um, we're going to keep cooking it until it's nice and soft. I'll just leave that like that. And the shower says, I'll just put that over the top like that. So we're going to cook this bacon off now, as I've said to you. Then we'll add the... Um, in fact, that gas bottle needs changing, didn't it? Yeah, that gas bottle's on its way out, folks. So we're just going to change the old uh, gas bottle there. Well, as I said to you before, we have got a few of these, so um, we do keep these in stock. And we do get so many people asking us, folks, how long these gas bottles last. Well, I've said it many a time, I can't actually tell you. It totally depends on use. We don't measure it. All we know is, is that our gas bills have gone down but again, they started to go up again because we're using the boiler again. But um, right, that's fine. Turn that on. So it's not really worth leaving a comment, folks. I really don't know. We don't know how long they last. As I say, throughout the day, we might make loads of cups of teas as well. And um, and also, don't forget, we're using them in the cooking videos. But we just because we've got a job lot of them, a stock of them, we just change them as and when we need them, basically. So we have found there is a difference in gas bottles, Sharon, isn't they? Yes. We've been recently, we bought the last batch recently from uh, a company, Kadak. Yeah. And we don't find them gas bottles nowhere near as good as the ones we've got from B&M and Home Bargains yeah. and, and that sort of things, which are all out of stock at the moment, as you probably well know. So it does sort of matter where to get your gas bottles. Um, the Kadak ones we found for just about £1.50 a bottle at the moment, aren't we, these yeah. ones? But lucky enough, we've still got some left from the summer from when we bought them from Home Bargains and B&M uh, for a pound a bottle. And they do last longer and the heat seems to be a lot better on them doesn't it yeah so just be aware that they're not always the best ones stick to what you know at the end of the day we'll be going back to home bargains and b&m when they do come back in well, stock spring arrives and camping season starts. of course it is but it's freezing at the moment Sharon, isn't it yeah. right okay so we're just bringing this up now how are you getting on no it's still not ready yet i'm gonna put these in now so these can cook in the bacon fat and getting them juices yeah so don't forget folks once we've actually done the uh main cooking off of the bacon and the leeks and the onions and the, the pasta over there we will be putting it all together in a, a white sauce in them little bowls there cheese sauce cheese sauce sorry yeah and then we'll be actually putting you can either freeze them then can't you yeah or you can cook them there and then and put them in we're going to cook them in the air fryer just to warm them all the way through and give them a bit of a crispy top as well because we'll be yeah. sprinkling this cheese dinner for tomorrow. yeah we'll be Charlotte. we'll be sprinkling cheese on the top and that'll create a nice crispy top on the top of it, wouldn't it, Sharon? Yeah. Leave that alone. Okay, the pasta's now cooked, so Sharon's just going to drain that out, folks. Over to the uh, colander. Just pass it through the colander there. Clean, unstuck, all clean. Yeah, look at that, look. Oh, hello. A bit steamy in there. And then she'll just leave that and then whack it back in the bowl, in the colander, so any excess water can drip through into the bowl. So it will steam itself anyway. Right, so we can leave that to one side now, folks. As you can see, what you do tend to get with these cheaper cuts of bacon are lots of water in them. So we've just got to literally wait till all the water evaporates. We could have tipped it out, I suppose, but... Uh, it's nearly all gone. It's nearly all gone now, yeah. So we just let it cook, then that will start to brown up the, uh, uh, the, the bacon and the leeks and the onions a little bit. So... Uh, we're nearly there now. Once this is done, we can start preparing the cheese sauce. Okay, folks, we're, we're pretty happy with that. So Sharon's just turned the gas off. She's pouring the uh, pasta pen back into the saucepan now. And we're now going to combine the leeks, onions, and the bacon pieces in there as well. So everything's going into one bowl. There we go. Just whack it all in, folks. Whack it all in. And there we go, so that's all in there like that. All we're lacking now is the cheese sauce, which Sharon's gonna make now. Right, so we're now gonna get onto the sauce. So Sharon's got a, well, we're gonna use a pint of milk here, aren't we, Sharon? Yeah. So we're gonna use one pint of milk in a little saucepan. In she goes. Now that is a two pint bottle, isn't it? So yeah, Sharon's gonna right. do a bit of a guesstimation there, which is fine. It's not gotta be that accurate. And we've got uh, some English mustard powder. 
This is the Coleman's one. About half a, tea, uh, a teaspoon. That's one teaspoon of that in there then. Right, so now we're going to put in two tablespoons of plain flour, this folks. That's all we need. You don't need self-raising in this. That's two tablespoons. And literally, you haven't got to make a roux with this and it won't lump up. Just keep stirring it and then that will come up to a lovely creamy uh, white sauce. And when it gets to that stage, we'll then add the grated cheese. We've already grated the cheese, folks, as you can see there. That's our extra mature cheddar there, which we've uh, grated already. And that's ready to go in the white sauce, just as we see it thicken up as it's just doing now. Can you see that, folks? Look, just starting to thicken up. There you go, that don't take long at all. It really doesn't. And as I said to you before, there's no lumps in there whatsoever. So you've turned that heat off now, haven't yeah. you? And can you see how that's thickened up, folks? And all we're, all, some cheese in all we're gonna do now is drop the cheese in. Just the grated cheese, there we go, look. And the heat of the sauce will cook the cheese into the sauce. There we go. And that'll give us a lovely cheesy flavored sauce there, folks. There we go, that's the last bit in there. And don't forget, we will be putting some cheese on the top of the pasta bakes when uh, when we're ready to cook them in the uh, air fryer. So there you go, folks. And don't forget, if it does come up too thick, you Jeez. can just put a little bit of milk back into it again, folks. Yeah. So there's it's no art to it, there's no right figure. You go by the feel and the look of it, and then you'll know to sort of just loosen it off a little bit if you feel it needs it with a bit of milk. Or if it's a bit too runny still, just put a little bit more flour on it, it should be okay. Mm. But keep whisking it and everything will be okay, Sharon. Okay, so let's start getting these, this uh, mixture in the bowls. So we just whack it in there now, folks. Just measure it out, eat half and half. As you can see, because it's swelled up that pasta, look. It's basically filled them bowls virtually up now, look. So one of them would probably do two people, Sharon, wouldn't it? Oh, easy, yeah. Bit of garlic bread. Bit of garlic bread with it or something, yeah. And all Sharon's going to do now is literally just pour over that white sauce and then we'll just give it a little agitate and push it in. Just get it running through the pasta. That's why you've got to move it about, folks, in there. Don't just let it sit on top. You want it to get in them little tubes in there. There we go. Get it all in there. And then just get your, your soft tool and then just literally push it backwards and forwards and it will start to go inside the pasta as well. So don't be frightened of it, folks. Just bish it about a bit. Right, and we're just going to finish off with some black pepper on the top there, folks. Great plenty on. There we go. As I say, we don't need any salt in there because there's plenty of salt in that bacon. And then we're going to get some more cheese. So Sharon, just going to grate some more cheese. We've got this little cheese container, which quite a few of you like, folks. And there we go, and it contains all your cheese in there. And I've actually put a link to these, folks. And it has got a lid on this one as well, yeah, which in, you would have seen earlier. I've actually put a link to that, folks, in the video description below if you, you're interested in them. So literally, just sprinkle your cheese on top, folks. Don't be shy with it, put plenty on, because this is what's going to give you a lovely cheesy crust. Right, okay, folks, so Sharon just made up a couple of our little carrier things we do, just to put in our little uh, ninja basket. There you go, just like that. Just tuck them ends in. So now let's just put it into our ninja, just makes life a little bit easier. And then in that one goes. Right, so we'll put them on match because we're putting both of them on together. We'll do them on the air fry setting. And what temperature and what's, what time? You want to go down to 180? No. Right, okay, so 180 for 15 minutes, but we will be keeping an eye on it, folks, will we? Yeah. Brilliant. Right, finished cooking, folks. Did we put it on for any longer? No. Oh, look at them, folks. Oh, oh, that's hot, Sharon. Don't touch it, then. Oh, let's have a look. Come on, dig them out, baby. Oh, look at them, folks. They look fantastic. Have you stuck the probe in? Oh, I haven't, actually. Get the probe in. Let's have a look. Let's see if that was long enough. All right, there you go, folks. We're just touching 70 degrees. I'd like to have seen 75 there. So you might want to put it on for an extra couple of minutes, two to five minutes. We're not eating it yet, though, are we? No, we're not eating no. it yet, but there you go. So that's that, folks. Oh, let's get the other one out first. Can you see how much easier, folks, it is getting these uh, close-sized tins to the size of them open? Look at them, look. Oh, look at them, look. Absolutely superb.
This is absolutely lovely. It's not Sharon's favourite, but it is one of mine. So in you go, baby. You taste a little bit. You've got a bit of bacon there. I can see that. You've got some sauce. You've got some pasta. Yeah? Very nice. All right, let's have a go, folks. Got a bit of crusty stuff on the top. I've got everything here, folks. Yes, again. I don't know if my gate could open that while, Sharon. I don't know it does it with that hot. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's really steaming. I can see some leaks on there, and I can see that that cheesy goodness has permeated them pens. Call it past the pen, baby. I'm going in. I'm going to have to come side angle and spin it round, Sharon. Do what you need to do. Oh. You know, don't you? Yes, macaroni cheese. Farron. Sorry, it's penne cheese. It's all there. The bacon. The saltiness of the grand extra cheddar we got in there. I could taste the leeks, I could taste the onions. And that white bechamel sauce, whatever you call it, Sharon. Cheese sauce, I call it. It's lovely. It's covered everything like a snowy night, Sharon. Not a frosty night. There's no frost in that, baby. That's a winter warmer, I can tell you. Folks, you've got to try that one. Very easy to prepare. And as I said, using pasta pen, you get more of that sauce go through the center of it there. Absolutely superb. Oh. There's nothing more to say, folks, apart from... Bye-bye. See you later. Give it a go. Nice and simple meal. Pretty cheap as well. Nutritious and wholesome. And filling. Thanks very much. We'll see you in our next video. And don't forget to have a binge watch of our other videos. Yes. And we'll see you Sunday on our live stream at 8 p.m. Friday. No, what am I saying? Sunday. Sunday at eight. At eight o'clock, and it'll be it'll be a live chat box there, and you're well, quite quite quite, quite welcome. Oh, I, it's got to me. It's quite welcome them them to come and join well, us. I got to him, but there you go. <laughs> yeah, other people do as well, Shab, but not in that way. Oh, Sometimes okay. I want to go like that. See you later, folks. Bye for now. Bye.